what does this say about the assumptions of reality as they are out there in consensus view? There's not one world. There are infinite number of, of Earths here now. And there's a version of each of us on each one of those that, that matches the vibration of that Earth. There's many different versions of me and, and I can line, or you, and I can line up with any one of those in the moment. The version of me that I'm lined up with is the one I'm conscious of, that I'm experiencing right now. And then there's a whole bunch of versions of me that I'm not conscious of, that also exist, but I'm not experiencing those now. So I had this image of, of each one of us is kind of sitting in our own movie theater, watching our movie. And so there could be many of us here, but we're each in our own movie theater. In, in that sense, we're in our own reality, in our own little universe. And that's, you know, that's our little screening room. Everything is a still frame. And so you're moving from still frame to still frame, which creates movement. And that's, that makes that's sense. the sense of movement from frame to frame. Yeah, and that you could jump from this frame over here. You can take it out of sequence, or you can jump into a whole different complete movie strip of film, if you will, yep. with a different yep. storyline and a different existence, a different everything. And it can be a little jarring to your ego. Yes, there you go. And that's probably, the trick, isn't it? Well, that's, that's probably part of why we don't do that. If I'm quote unquote healing myself, I think the most direct way is to just get to the root of, oh, what is this here for? This is a sign of something for me to learn or grow uh, around. And I would do that. I would align myself with the me that ha doesn't have cancer uh, by going through that growth. I would be changing and going through probably several different realities between reality A and reality B, well, which is several trillion. I just want to go back to the what is healing question. I want to look at one other piece of this that's pretty interesting. So let's say you come to me and you have some physical issue and you're ready to heal. And we work in the way I work and over some period of time the cancer disappears and, it, and you're free of cancer. And that would meet the definition of you're healed. Miraculously, me if it took a month or a day, but some period of time that seemed like less than most people think it would take. Now here's the question. What actually happened? All right, so what, what may have happened, if we follow the same line of what we've been talking about, is that, again, I'm sitting in my movie theater, all by myself, watching my movie, and, and interacting with my movie, and creating my movie. And here you show up as a character in my movie. I just need to line myself up with the version of Earth where you are well. Because there's a version of you that already exists, you know, so many different versions, trillions, as you said, infinite number, probably, of versions of you. I know there's a version of you that is free of that, and all I have to do is line up my point of experience or my point of consciousness with the version of you or the reality where you are free of cancer. Right, so you have to change you. So the game is always you. Maybe. We see how that whole law of attraction works, and in seemingly things that are unchangeable, and some things I still wonder why I would hold on to, even though I know the trick. I just have right. to change me. And so, essence, you would say people who are coming to you are just parts of you. You know, um, to well, be yeah. I mean, yeah, because if the movie is just all one big projection from me, yeah, then, yeah, they're all. It's all just me up on the screen. the whole idea of how we get out of the mess that we think we're in on this earth everybody's like we've got to change the earth it's like this one this one earth right yeah and that we right. all have to agree and we all have to do it which yep. is true it, it, it may show up and look like that based on the way that our minds are wired but i'm much more into the idea of i just have to really concentrate and clear a lot of stuff to the point where i'm in such love with myself in such a new 
way of holding love that I'm able to actually hold a, a pretty nice vibration and frequency and a view of the earth I'd rather be in. And right. then I will be there. I know it seems like we are working with other people to clean up the earth, but what we are really doing is redefining our own vibration and lining up with an earth where that is already the case. And so why is this useful? Well, for me, I think it's empowering. I think it gives us an option that we didn't know we had, and it's a way of looking at, at what we are and what we're capable of. Mostly, I just think it's empowering. It puts you in the driver's seat of your own life, and, and that's a good thing. I think we're in, a, in an atmosphere right now where we're able to notice other frequencies that are very different than our own. Whereas, maybe this is what happens with this 2012 split. This is always how I've imagined it. If you're a person who's moving into this kind of awareness and, and being drawn to this kind of information and using it in how you manifest yourself, then it helps you to fine tune yourself in a specific frequency. So you're sort of fine tuning, fine tuning, fine tuning. To me, what happens in this big shift is that we're going to not see as much of a frequency range. In other words, those people who are so far off our frequency won't appear. We're going to shift into a version of ourselves and Earth where they're not even there. Mm -hmm. And so that's the game right now is to... Either they're, either they're not there or it's the version of them that's there is the happy version of them. Yeah. That's not to say that everybody on Earth has um, a frequency that will match yours. That's right. There may not. Some people may not have that version. That right. is, you know, it's possible, and they might just disappear. And you'll think, oh, they moved away, or it would look like they died. They're out of the movie for now. They're out of the movie for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that having an understanding of what, as close as you can get to what's really going on. Yeah in reality, a workable paradigm that not only works, but you know, makes sense, which I think this does, makes perfect sense, explains a lot, explains a lot of the miracles, we, you know, because for scientists, what is a miracle? It's something they can't explain. Okay, well, this explains miracles. This explains how we're able to get a, an amazing transformation from one point to the next. It's simply because you're very good at knowing how to line up with some other reality that's a different vibration. You just dial it in and there we are. It's like changing the channel on your television.